another thing that is not explained until the third damn game. Oh, who's that Hosaka? You think people play your entire series. <gasps> yeah! That's kind of a throw up situation. This ship is about to capsize. Please make haste. Wait, Cosmos. Cosmos, do... Do you understand what you've just done? My assigned duty is to protect Vector employees. Protection of military personnel is not part of my prime directive. That's no excuse! She you just have no committed right cold-blooded murder. Why did you shoot Lieutenant Virgil? With your power, you don't have to sacrifice anyone to- At that time, Lieutenant Virgil was in my direct line of fire. Any changes in my firing position to avoid Lieutenant Virgil while protecting you would have resulted in a 30% depreciation in my offensive capabilities. On the other hand, with the Lieutenant's death, there would only be a 0.2% drop in efficacy. I simply chose the option with the highest probability to keep you alive. Furthermore, the escape pod has a maximum capacity of two occupants. I believe it is obvious who gets priority. How could... How can you even say that? Have you no conscience? She's an android, she of course not! You forget, I am not human. I am merely a weapon. You, of all people, should be well aware of that fact. What is your decision? Will you board the escape pod? Or will you not board the escape pod? If you wish to express remorse for his death, it is best that you survive. Otherwise, you will render his death meaningless. Come on, Chief. <laughs> Cosmos, you cold-hearted bitch. I love you. You're so awesome. Hey, new boss, how are you doing? These things are just popping out of the woodwork, aren't they? Okay then. <sighs> Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. And since Alan can't fight for shit, it's just the two of us now. Great. Thank you, Cosmos, for getting rid of our third combatant. Also, ow. It almost looked like he was going naughty, naughty. Itchy arm, itchy arm. Save between the last fight and this one. Oh dear. No wait, nope, yep, yes it did. Yes it did. It wasn't enough to kill him. I was hoping it would be. I thought she'd have gone for the main one in hindsight. Ouch. Also, ouch. Cosmos is gonna die.
Bye, Cosmos. Great. This is what I get for not finding when I should have. Also, ouch. <sighs> Not much to say when I'm just guarding and I got Cosmos killed. I swear I used to be good at this game. Then again, I'm about underleveled by about, oh. Six or seven levels. Oh dear. And it just manages to hit me one. Mm. Ouch. I'm okay with that. Cross my fingers. Crossing the fingers here. It's a maybe that I'll be able to survive this fight. On critical. Fuck. So I just lost. Great. There's no way I'm going to survive that hit. Nope. Right. One hit away! Ugh. Be right back when we get back to this point. Can't lose now. Here we are again, folks. Let's try not to die this time. Yeah, Cosmos can't do much in this fight. If he does much, he will die. Horribly. Because she's too underleveled. Of course, they're gonna keep going after Cosmos until they can kill Cosmos. English, I am bad at it. Anyway, they will keep going for Cosmos until Cosmos is dead so they can then go for Shion. Great. You have no right to be critical in me, my good sir. Jackass. <sighs> All right, right on the main guy. The Minotaur. No, oh, circle. Not X, Scarlet. This game is not like all your other ones. The circle is enter. Ow. Oh, that was on Xion. That's okay.
Everyone guard like beach. It does, it looks like for the last second there, they're wagging their finger at Cosmos. Don't you be wagging your finger, my android buddy. Oh dear. You can't use two- oh, it was two different monsters. For a second, I was like, wait a minute, you can't fire two bursts after each other. It's illegal. You know, I'm, I'm taking a chance here. Nope. Okay. Bye, Cosmos! See you later. Nice knowing you. Yep. You got credit at the wrong time, honey buns. Shutting down. All the XP for Shion, apparently. <laughs> Which sucks for me, actually. We're right back to where we were last time, folks. Great. Slightly better position, though. Only slightly. I could have used that crit in the last fight game, but no, you had to give it to me then. Ah well. And Xion gets old. Oh boy, Xion's not even part of my regular party except for the final battle because she's the only one who has an ability I need. Go Cosmos! You just bitch slap Moses. Got the emulator. Oops. Sorry, Cosmos, honey. There's only one of you. And there goes the warship with everyone. Oh. It just split in half. It's pretty bad. Lots of dead bodies around. And the noses are just sitting there. Just chilling. game. Okay, there we go. For a second there, I was like, wait a minute. You didn't just freeze on me, did you? Because my disc is old. And at times, can freeze. Affirmative. The target object was not the original. Affirmative. It was an emulator. Roger. Upon deploying tracking device, I will depart immediately. As originally planned, I will head for second Milsha. Oh, Cosmos has her own agenda. Kind of.
And with that, we finished chapter one. This is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I've been playing Xenosaga. See y'all later.